Hey hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going with Q2 of the Weekly Contest 249, Unique Length 3 Panadromic Subsequences. So basically, I use greedy in this one. Um, what does it mean to be a palindrome? And what does it specifically to mean a Length 3 palindrome, right? Uh, and this is for subsequence. So for this one, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord if you want to discuss problems after, right after the contest and so forth. But for this particular one, so a palindrome of length 3 will have, well, two characters on the outside that are the same and then a middle character, right? So for the way that I did it is that I brute force um, all the answers. And I, I don't, I think there are other ways to do it as well, but this is the way that I did it. I think there are yeah, you can probably be way slick about it, but yeah, you definitely can do it in one pass or something. But the way I did it is I just do it with 26 pass with lowercase letters. Um, so it's going to be n times 26 or n times alpha, where alpha is the size of the alphabet. In any case, so for each character, uh, I start with A, so I start with A, B, C, D, E, and so forth. I, I look at, okay, if the character is in the string, then I go, all right, what's the first instance? Okay, what is the last instance? If there, there's more than one of them, meaning that, you know, if, um, yeah, if there's at least two of these, then we do a for loop and look at all the characters in the middle. And all the characters in the middle... Then we put, add it to a set, and then we count the size of the set. Because, so what does this mean, right? What is this saying? This is saying, okay, for example, let's take a string. Let's take a longer string. Okay, let's say this one. And keeping in mind that you only care about the uniqueness, which is why we use a set. But here, let's say we have this string. The uh, hey. And let's say we have a longer, I don't know, let's just bang on the keyboard for a second. Um, and let's just add a B here for whatever reason, right? So let's say we're looking at B, right? So greedily, we look at the first B and then the last B because that makes a palindrome. And any character in between is going to make a palindrome, right? So for example, B, C, B is going to be a palindrome. Uh, B, A, B is going to be a palindrome. And then we do it again for A, A, and then R. So B, R, B is going to be a palindrome. Be right back. And so forth, right? Dot, dot, dot. So that's basically what I do here is that I look at, okay, what is what are the unique numbers in, be, um, in that is between the first B and the last B? Because we just set that as a, a place that we do the counting. And then in the middle, we just go through the entire thing to be like, okay, is there an A? Is there a B? Is there a C? We put it in a set. And the length of the set is the number of unique three characters palindromes that we can create. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. What is the complexity? Like I said, so we go through 26, uh, a loop of 26, and for each of these 26, we go through the, um, the way a yeah, number of times, say. Um, so... So yeah, it's going to be n times alpha, where alpha is the number, the size of the alphabet. In terms of um, in terms of space, we only use the set. So at most, it's going to be O of alpha because uh, or alpha squared, depending on how you want to say we reset or we use or whatever. Um, because it's O of alpha because this is an alpha loop and this only has at most twenty six characters. So it's going to be alpha square, but you can, if you're really clever about, you know, garbage collection or whatever, or just like reusing the memory, then in, like if you use an array and then reset the array of 26 characters, then it is only alpha space. The way that I did technically maybe alpha square space, if you don't assume garbage collection or whatever. Eh, but that's really detailed. Anyway, so yeah, so that's all I have for this one. Um, yeah, you can watch me self it live during the contest next I was, uh, that was so confusing i wasn't sure that was right because it was just too easy but okay
Okay, I got it. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, thanks for the support. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem in general, my explanations, whatever you need to ask. Um, I'll probably put it in the comments or, you know, in a future video what to go over. Um, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, stay cool. To good mental health, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.